Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a dimensional analysis problem from the JEE main test and I placed it in with the problems involving electricity and magnetism because most of the constants here deal indeed with electricity and magnetism. So it says that if E is the electron charge, C is the speed of light in free space and H is Planck's constant, the quantity 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught times E squared over HC has dimensions of, and we have four possible answers. M stands for mass, L stands for length, T stands for time, and C, I believe, stands for charge, coulombs or charge. Uh, well, let's see, how do we go about doing that? And first of all, they didn't tell us anything about 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught. But we should realize that if we look at Coulomb's law, we have the equation that the force between two charges is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught times q1 q2 divided by the distance between them squared. So we need to have something here that ends up with newtons on that side. So therefore the units for this will be newtons because force has to be newtons. We have to cancel out two charges so we need coulomb squared at the bottom and we need meter squared at the top to cancel out the distance squared in the denominator there. So at least that gives us the units for this quantity right there. So go ahead and we'll put that over here. So this is equal to newtons meter squared divided by coulomb squared. Now the units for charge is coulombs and since we have charge squared we need coulomb squared in the numerator there. So coulomb squared divided by Planck's constant is joules times seconds, so we write joules times second, and then speed of light is in meters per second. All right, there should be a C there. Okay, so can we simplify things right away? And the answer is yes. So this is in units, so we have coulomb squared, coulomb squared, and notice that we have joules, which is a newton meter, and we have a newton meter squared over there. So this can be uh, written as newton meters times meters. That's everything in the numerator, divided by joules, which is a newton meter, seconds, meters, and the over seconds can go to the numerator, right there. Okay, can we simplify more things? We have a newton meter, newton meter, so that cancels out. We have seconds and seconds, that cancels out, meter, meters, and it looks like we're left with no units at all. Which means that, well, I guess I shouldn't put a null set, I'll just put a 1 there. <laughs> That's more accurate. All right, so that means no units at all for that particular expression. So let's go over here and see what kind of answers we have. And notice we have m to the 0, l to the 0, t to the 0, that's equal to 1. So therefore, they do have the correct answer there being b. And so that's how it's done. The key, of course, here is to realize that we have the 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, which takes on the units newtons meter squared per coulomb squared. They gave us the electric, that was the electron charge, so coulomb squared, Planck's constant joule times second, speed of light meters per second, and then we simply simplify things algebraically. And that is how it's done.